Hello, my name is Monica and I am a student nurse from the University of Massachusetts, Boston. I am working on proposing to change the Dr. Lorna Breen Healthcare Provider Protection Act. This is an act of policy today. The plight is to include and specify funding for drug and alcohol abuse in healthcare workers. The change would establish grants for rehabilitation and financial security for sick leave without concern for lost wages or job loss. This proposal is important to me because as a current healthcare worker, I have seen how the pandemic has greatly affected my colleagues and myself in a mental, physical, and emotional aspect. I have witnessed how my colleagues and I had to draw each other out from dark moments that went past patient care. It was something not all said healthcare heroes are all able to come out of. There has been a long standing parallel between drug and alcohol abuse in healthcare professionals prior to the COVID 19 pandemic. However, it skyrocketed in 2020 and has been a growing issue today. In 2013, the American Addiction Centers estimated that 5.5% of medical professionals struggle with illicit drug abuse, and about 4.4% have a problem with heavy alcohol consumption. Overdoses have also spiked since the pandemic. A reporting system called the Overdose Detection Mapping Application Program shows that during the early months of the pandemic, when hospitals were at full capacity and understaffing shortage was rampant, there was an 18% increase nationwide in overdoses compared to the same months in 2019. This issue and the bill that had recently passed was named after Dr. Lorna Breen. She tragically died by suicide after being consumed by feelings of helplessness and despair while treating COVID-19 patients during the first wave of the pandemic. Although she did not die of substance abuse, there are many healthcare professionals who have dual diagnoses of mental health illness, depression, opioid or alcohol addiction. Now other proposals within the act include peer programs, mental health first aid staff trainings, biannual mental health staff screenings, and increasing job openings to non-clinical experts for task shifting to decrease burnout. Currently, this issue is addressed by the drastic shift towards telemedicine. People accessing care for substance use disorders through increased availability of telemedicine for behavioral health concerns. Due to the pandemic, it has also become more common for community-based groups like Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous to meet online. However, I believe my solution would change the Dr. Lorna Breen Healthcare Provider Protection Act to specify support for drug and alcohol abuse in healthcare professionals, and it will have better outcomes than the others because it removes the stigma of seeking mental help while also eliminating the fear of lost wages or job loss while actively seeking rehabilitation. So I come before you today seeking and hoping to pique your interest and seek for your support. Thank you for your time. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a nice day.